Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of May 18th through the 24th. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This may or may not be for you, and the timing could be off because the timing is fluid. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, then we're going to use this deck right here. So dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini for the week of May 18th through the 24th? Overall energy, please. Eight of Cups. Okay, well, we all know, most of us know what the Eight of Cups is. And this is saying goodbye to something that is emotionally unfulfilling. This could be anything, but that is turning your back. There's nothing left. There's no reason to stay. You might, it's time to go someplace else, okay? So it's time to fly by the looks of things. So I'm not sure in, in what aspect of your life that is, but if somebody is leaving something that is un fulfilling behind it's disappointing there's nothing left it's gone it's gone okay so that's saying goodbye traveling uh <sighs> done it's over something is over whatever it is whether it's a job or a friendship or a relationship or whatever it is that is saying goodbye it's definitely time to fly um Deciding to go down a new path, go someplace else, going someplace else. This is, this is, there's nothing left, okay, with that Eight of Cups. There's nothing left. So, what do we have for Gemini? Monday. Page of Coins reversed and the Death Card reversed for Monday. Monday would be the 18th, the 19th. Ooh, the 20th. What do we have for the 20th? I guess we'll take that one. Eight of Cups reversed. Mm, 21st or Thursday? Friday? Saturday? Gotta get Sunday and Sunday. Sunday. Ooh, interesting. Oh, okay. So you at the beginning of the week, I'm not sure. Maybe you're dealing with a King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, but you know, very well could be. This is somebody that is holding out. Okay, they're holding out. They're really not giving anything. This could be somebody who's very stubborn. Um, the King of Pentacles is typically loyal, but also not always. Not always loyal. Um, he has something in his hand. He has a golden opportunity in his hand where he's holding on to something. He's not giving. He's not giving it. Whatever it is, you're dealing with somebody that is very cunning and clever by the look on his face. This person is very cunning and clever. Okay? So that's who you're dealing with. And I think that's maybe throughout the week or at the beginning of the week. The overall energy is saying goodbye. So let's get started. On Monday... Page of Pentacles reverse. This is a dropout. This is somebody who may portray themselves to be a king, but this person really isn't. They may be immature. Um, they don't have any commitment. They're foolish. They lack common sense. They don't want responsibility. You, this is somebody who has no follow through. They may have presented this coin in the king of pentacles that i showed you but it wasn't solid it wasn't real at first it looked really good that's how cunning and clever they are you're dealing with a very cunning individual who you know it's like they they sold you something that they had no intention of giving you um death reverse this could be a disaster because something could have ended very fast 
Um, there could be an incident, you know, there, there, there's been, you know, a stalemate perhaps. Um, there's been a level of indecision. This person um, doesn't know what they want. They may not, they may have told you they wanted a new beginning or they wanted a new life or they were ready for something, but fact is, is they're not or they, they lied or something like that. So Monday, I feel like you are um, sick of holding on. This this holding on is getting old. You may be deciding to give up because whoever you are dealing with, which is probably an earth sign by the looks of things. This isn't a death card. This is the Knight of Pentacles reversed. And it's interesting that I didn't even see that. I saw the death card. I didn't see the I didn't see the Knight of Pentacles for it just until now. I'm serious. So this is the Knight of Pentacles versus the Page of Pentacles reverse. This is you're dealing with an earth sign or somebody that has a lot of earth in their chart. This person had no intentions. They offered you something, you know, that you thought was solid and it wasn't real. It wasn't. So you may be giving up whoever you're dealing with um is irresponsible. And there could be some jealousy here. There's unfaithfulness. This person may have somebody else or something like that. There's definitely giving up on Monday. Whoever you're dealing with isn't putting in any effort at all. They're lazy. They may be a financial mess. This could be a slob. Uh, somebody that is corrupt. They don't have any money. They, they have a hard time going to work. They're inflexible. They're boring. Um, they may be... Um, Maybe they're just not qualified, but you didn't see it because they presented themselves. It's interesting. They presented themselves to be a king. They present when they first, but it was a lie. It was. So I think on Monday, you may be deciding to put a stop to this. I'm, I'm done. Because it's funny. I saw the death card, which is a death, which is the stop. Okay. Now a dead stop. That's what it is. That's why that, that is a dead stop. So something has come to a complete end, a dead end, a dead end. So you may be, you may have hit a roadblock or you have reached a dead end with somebody on Monday. Um, no follow through, no commitment, no plan on moving forward on Monday. You're dealing with somebody who is lacking focus, lacking, um, Responsibility doesn't want any responsibility. Tuesday. So Monday you may be giving up. You may be shutting somebody or stopping somebody or putting your hand up and saying, no, I'm not interested. Tuesday. Ace of Wands. No growth, no desire, no attraction. Going south. Something didn't materialize on Tuesday. Not giving anything your energy. A relationship. Okay, this is a dying dream. <clears throat> the Ten of Cups reverse is the is a is the is the end of a relationship that didn't materialize. It didn't grow. So on Tuesday, it looks as though. Uh, you're, somebody is still giving up. It's funny because this is walking away. Still giving up on a relationship because there's no happiness here. There's no commitment. Again, there's relationship problems. Children could be leaving. They may be moving or leaving home or some somebody isn't getting the desired relationship that they were looking for. So on Tuesday... There, there could be a split, uh, unhappiness. Okay, this is unhappy about the relationship. No, no, somebody's not taking any initiative. There's no drive. There's no desire. There's no excitement. There's no growth in a relationship on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, it looks like um, it's a level of unhappiness. I'm not happy with the outcome. Not happy that, you know, this isn't happening. It's not happening. Okay. The Ace of Wands reversed. There's no, there's no spark. Maybe the the spark has died. The spark has gone away. It's gone out. And that's it's like, I mean, I can't, I 
can't change it. We have there's there's like no attraction left to this. It's dying. It's something, and that's why I saw the death card. Something is is taught the the feelings or the care or the the desire to have a relationship with whoever you you were dealing with is is totally dying. And on Tuesday, you be, you may be really losing. You're definitely losing interest with each day, and you definitely are. So let's talk about Wednesday. There's no communication on either of these days, or this person doesn't communicate well. They may be uh, very quiet. They're not putting in any effort at all, whoever it is that you're dealing with. So Wednesday. Ooh, Knight of Swords reversed and the Eight of Cups reversed. So Wednesday's the 20th. Now, it's funny because Monday and Tuesday, you probably don't hear anything from this person. You don't hear anything or they don't communicate or they don't give you anything solid. They they um, don't try to make things better. They don't put in any effort on Monday and Tuesday. But Wednesday, they may, not ha they may have bad intentions. They may um, come rushing in. This is somebody that thinks that you'll take them back with the Eight of Cups or that you'll come back around or that you will give them another chance. Um, they may try to apologize, but I need to, with the eight of cups reverse, that could be an apology. You could be dealing with somebody that, you know, they ghosted you, they, they, they left you behind, they, um, were ignorant, they, they left you, they left you high and dry, or they left you to fend for yourself, or they, what, what did they do? What did they do? They didn't get, put in any effort. They left you to take care of business on yourself, They by yourself. They just didn't support you. They didn't care. They didn't care. This is somebody who really isn't caring. So somebody that didn't care about your feelings is now hurrying on back. It's like, And I feel like they're in a deep hurry, a big, 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 big hurry. They may try to blame you. That the reason they left or the reason that they ghosted you or the reason they didn't put in effort is because of you. You know, they may try to point the finger at you. You could be dealing with somebody that is a bully. This person may even explode. This is explosive energy. Maybe they they are, maybe they see that you aren't putting in effort. Maybe this is you deciding not to put in effort anymore. Maybe you're like, you know what? You're not going to give me anything. You're not going to do your part. You don't want to be, be in this relationship, whatever. Fuck it. You know, so maybe you you decide, you know, that you're not going to give it any more of your energy. You're walking away. So this person, uh, all of a sudden, this is very sudden with the Knight of Swords. It gets mean, gets aggressive, gets explosive, gets mad, places you in, at fault, says it's a, this is all your fault that I left, that this happened. So you may be blamed for something on Wednesday. And this person may... Um, they may try to apologize to you, but but at the same time, they're blaming you. So, I don't know if you're dealing with a narcissist or what. Um, the Eight of Cups reversed. This is like a wild goose chase. It is. It's a wild goose chase. It's like... I think you're dealing with somebody that... And this person may have mental health problems. Um, they like to be in control. This could be somebody that is actually dangerous. Okay. Now, um, things could get out of control. Things could get out of control on Wednesday. You might want to be careful. Be careful about who you are riding with. It looks like this guy is in a hurry. You know, it looks pretty dangerous. I mean, it could be, an, I mean, you think about that. That is a dangerous situation. So I think on Wednesday, you may have somebody that comes and they may want to take you for a ride. I don't know if they have a motorcycle or something like that. I would, I would be careful. I, I, this is lead somebody into danger. Okay. So you could, you could be dealing with somebody on Wednesday that is um, very aggressive and they, they're mean and they don't have good intentions. I feel like Wednesday, this person that hasn't been putting in effort is going to come back around. They don't have um, good intentions, put it that way. They, they don't. They don't. So... I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back to them. I wouldn't with this Eight of Cups reversed, okay? 
Um, you may want to avoid. You may want to avoid dealing with this person because there could be a fight on Wednesday or an argument with the Knight of Swords versus somebody who is very argumentative. A know-it-all. I need to get another card for Wednesday. Wednesday, that is, don't go back. to See, it's like... You Monday and Tuesday, you're like, I'm walking away. And this person may see it, okay? They may see it and they get pissed off. So they, they try to put in, that's what a narcissist does, right? So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a narcissist. They see that you're giving up, so they put in effort. But they don't have good intentions. So let's get another card for Wednesday. Hangman reversed. Uh, this is somebody that is uh, obsessed with control. Egotistical. Now they've missed an opportunity, so it's like they want to bring you back. They want to bring you back. Instead of changing anything, they're not going to change whoever you're dealing with. This person will not change with the hangman reversed. Very angry. You got somebody here that is wanting to control wanting to be in control on Wednesday. They may they may um, tell you that they've changed their mind, but it's not true. It's not true. So I'd be careful on Wednesday. I think you have a very arrogant, uh, egotistical individual that is trying to come back around that hasn't been giving you any attention. You know? And it's all about control. It's like they're losing their supply, so <clears throat> they want it back. So Wednesday, I think you're going to hear from somebody who hasn't changed at all, but they have some sort of agenda which involves regaining uh, control of your emotions by the looks of things. It's like they don't want you to completely walk away from them. So they want to keep you hooked. They do. They want to keep you hooked. Interesting. So Wednesday, you're going to be dealing with a very egotistical individual who may say some mean things. And they, and they may, or they may uh, apologize, okay? Both. I think they're going to say both, okay? They're going to blame you in their apology for whatever has happened. Interesting. So be prepared for that. On, on Thursday... Ace of Cups reversed. This isn't love. It's very emotional. This is blocking emotions, shutting down emotionally. Not happy, crying, tears. The Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, so we're talking about Friday, but a new beginning, a new life. This is a breakthrough. This is free. This is... Um, Thinking positive, a new beginning on Thursday, a new life. This is a life-giving energy. Thursday, you're going to be blocking your emotions or shutting down your feelings and deciding to start a new life, deciding to go in another direction. You're going to feel free. You're probably going to be a lot happier. It may start out as... Um, very emotional. You could, you could, you know, wake up and, and cry or feel overwhelmed emotionally or feel sad. But by the end of the day, you're happy. So there's a shift. There's a shift on Friday. It goes from unhappy to happy on Friday. So I think that you're, you, uh, you know, look at this. It's like, I'm free. I'm free. I'm happy. So I think on, on Friday, there's a shift this because you do walk away from this. You do walk away from this. I think Wednesday, Wednesday is going to be a tough day because there's going to be some conversation with whoever this person is that didn't put in effort. You wake up on Thursday, you're probably still a little sad over it, but there's a shift. Okay, there's a shift from sadness to happiness where you, you know, decide or you start to see that this is an opportunity for a new life, a new day. Um, you change your vibration, you accept it, and you, you know, it, this is like a blessing. It's like... We have a we feeling blessed on on Friday. Wait, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. This is a new beginning, a new life. Let's get another card for Thursday. 
You go from sad to happy. Interesting. Maybe you spend some time outside on Thursday and that, that brightens your mood up. You know, it, put, it puts you in a really good mood. It changes your outlook on life. It changes your outlook, you know, about the future. Oh, there's the death reversed. I think there's an incident that happens the day before. And you've been holding on to it. I think it definitely starts out as, as a very emotional day. By the middle of the day, you start to feel better. You start to feel really happy. And by the end of the day, you are... You're sick of living that life. You know, you're sick of it. You are. You're sick of living that life. That life that whatever it was, okay, with that death card reversed, it's just like there's been some sort of level of indecision. What the hell is going on Thursday? Holding on. Holding on. What You're holding on to something that needs to end. So by the end of the day, you're, you haven't completely let go of whatever this is. And you know, things don't happen overnight. So the day starts out as sad, goes from sad to happy to unsure. <laughs> so Thursday looks like it could be, you know, up and down kind of day. I feel like, um, you know... You, you go, you like, I'm not sure if I want to let this go. I'm not sure. So, yes, I mean, it, this is a back and forth day on Thursday. It is. Friday, the magician versus the nine of wands. Now, this is be, being guarded. This is a master manipulator, somebody that is a, is a pathological liar. And you don't trust them. So I think that you could be on on Friday, this person may try to keep trying. And maybe at the end of the day, this person doesn't want still doesn't want to let you go. Okay. Hmm. On Thursday. Wednesday, things are gonna start up. There could be a fight or an argument. On on and in the morning you wake up sad, you're you're still uh feeling shitty about whatever happened on Wednesday, but by the middle of the day, you're happy again. You know, you've, you've changed into a positive mindset, but by the end of the day, we got this, you know, it's not over yet. There's, they're still holding on to whatever happened on Friday. This person may communicate with you something in the morning. Um, they're not of good character. This person has some tricks up their sleeve they lie and you don't trust them. So I feel like you may be like, mm. they may say something to whatever they say to you on Friday. It is definitely a complete lie. Okay. They don't have good intentions at all. This is somebody who is very sneaky and tricky. Um, isn't willing to change at all. They are not going to change. And I think that you, uh, need to not give them your energy you need to not give them your energy on on friday you need to protect yourself you you've already you've already learned so many lessons maybe you have to learn another one maybe you do maybe maybe you have to learn another one about you know not letting your your not repeating not repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again you are dealing with i feel like you're dealing with a narcissist or somebody that has narcissistic qualities. Or this person may even be a psychopath with the magician and the knight of swords reverse and the devil reverse. This may be somebody who has some serious mental health issues. Or, you know, narcissist has mental health, health issues. This could be a psychopath or something like that. Anyway, I feel like you need to protect yourself. You need to not, not give this person your energy on Friday. You're dealing with a, a, a trickster who... Um, doesn't have good intentions and they're trying to they're testing you they're definitely going to test you on friday um geez, some crow you're going to be challenged you are going to be challenged you need to be expecting trouble i'm sorry but 
seriously, you should be expecting trouble from whoever this person is that really doesn't want responsibility, okay? This person is probably upset that they are losing control over you and they don't want to lose that power and control, okay? So, um, <clears throat> the star card reverse. This is a losing hope, a lack of hope, feeling despair. Why, 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 why is this happening? You know, you may be feeling or asking why this is happening or they may be asking why this is happening. This is somebody that is very, very arrogant, um... And you are, this is a test. The star reverse is a test. This is going to be a test of the lessons that you have learned, a test of your life lessons, a test of your value even and your worth. You've already fought a good fight. Do you want to keep, do you want to keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again and letting yourself be controlled by somebody that is, you know, a liar? This person may be a thief. This person is dangerous. There's no love in these cards anywhere. There isn't. This isn't about love. This is about control. So I think that you, you know, you may be feeling hopeless or feeling like, why, why is this happening? This person is really going to tug at you. They're going to poke at you, but they really, 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 really don't have good intentions. This is totally a test of faith. It's a test of, of yourself. It's a test of what you've learned throughout life. So I feel like whoever you're dealing with this week, um, they're coming in to test your boundaries. You're gonna, your boundaries are going to be tested. So you make sure that you set some strong boundaries this week and know your value and know your worth. Perhaps that's what this is the test of. Either way, I think this is, I feel like, you know, something, a relationship is ending and whoever you're dealing with, they don't really want the relationship, but they don't want to lose the power that they had over you. You know what I mean? It's interesting. Now, Saturday, so what do we have for Saturday? Saturday, we have Hermit going within, withdrawing, doing your own thing, thinking about it, taking back control on Saturday, being alone, think, not doing this. This is removing yourself, severing the ties on Saturday. Um, taking back your power, not giving them your energy. And on Sunday, you may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is going to take action. They are watching you. They are interested. This could be a new suitor or somebody else, but this is Sunday. Um, this is bad news. Not willing to start. So you may be feeling protective. You may want to protect yourself on Sunday. You may want to... Um, not engage with anybody, but I think you have somebody that is interested in you on Sunday that may, you know, have their eye on you and you may not want to give them a chance because of what you've been through. Um, you have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may be a little bit older than you, could be a little bit younger. There's definitely a little bit of an age difference here, but this person, um, is very noble, um, and they are attracted to you. So you have a, a new attraction or a new desire or a new outlook on Sunday. Um, but this is, this is um, procrastinating. Somebody is procrastinating with the Page of Wands. Procrastinating. We have somebody on Sunday that is interested in you. And they may not have messaged you, maybe because they were fearful, but they may they may engage with you on Sunday. I think it's a fire sign. Um, yeah. So I feel like Sunday there's a new desire, there's a new vision, or somebody is, I mean, that King of Wands takes action, is very decisive and strong and protective and noble. So on Sunday we have somebody here that is has their eye on something, but they've been fearful. They've been fearful. So on Sunday, I think that you may be just looking around. Maybe you're looking around, but you're not putting in any energy to anything because of that page of wands reversed. You may be in a state of thinking in procrastination mode. One more card for Sunday. Justice reverse. Feeling feeling um, unbalanced. Not ready. 
life is not fair. So you may be protecting yourself on Sunday, feeling like this isn't, I don't trust. Not happy. So I think on Sunday, you're probably just wanting to be alone. Saturday and Sunday. Good luck.